the first thing you need to write down to help our faith walk is the trials purify our faith first peter chapter 1 verse 7 says the following the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire may be found to praise honor and glory of revelation of jesus christ so peter shares with us that trials they purify our faith trials don't make your faith and trials don't break your faith as a christian trials they purify your faith fire makes gold more pure sometimes when the gold goes through fire gold becomes smaller in size but not smaller in price when fire goes through gold and the gold goes through fire what happens with gold is gold doesn't become bigger gold becomes genuine god is not after your faith to be big in size god wants your faith to be genuine when you go through a trial the second thing that helps our faith is this you cannot control what you feel you cannot control what you think at that moment but you must control what you speak what destroys our faith is our bad confession when you start speaking what you feel you destroy your faith and you destroy the promises of God in your life you must learn when everything inside of you is dying don't say what you feel let the weak say I am strong not I am weak when you feel weak don't say weak say strong you may say but that's hypocrisy God says it's faith some of you if you cannot speak the promise of God tape your mouth at least don't destroy everybody you know you can't catch a fish with its mouth closed Satan cannot have an access to your life if you zip your lip the moment you open up and you vomit everything that's inside of you all the nasty stuff you're gonna have what you said rejected conscience shipwrecks faith first Timothy chapter 1 verse 19 rejected conscience shipwrecks faith Paul is saying the following for somebody to have faith they must understand faith cannot live because faith lives in the heart your conscience must not be rejected what that means is this when you hear your conscience tells you to do something and you don't do it you shipwreck your faith now we don't see connection between our conscience and our faith we're like well faith is like department a and and conscious is department seven it's completely isolated apostle paul reveals a secret he says that obedience to your conscience and the growth of your faith are linked and connected so my faith grows when i pay attention to my conscience instead of rejecting my conscience what makes our faith stronger is faith without love is dead galatians chapter 5 verse 6 for in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but faith working through love in James chapter 2 verse 20 Apostle James writes to us and he says the following he says faith without that works without faith and faith without works is completely dead that means if our faith does not have works it's dead prophet T.B. Joshua shared something very interesting his mother who is already gone who's in heaven she told him as a young boy she says tb joshua if you ever struggle in your faith walk do this check your love walk and he says this to people that he teaches about faith he says you cannot have faith in god if you don't have love for men see we, we can't walk around here says i have faith to move mountains but see if you're going to move that mountain and throw it in the columbia river everybody who lives by columbia river will die your faith must work through love without love our faith dies faith explodes when the holy spirit makes the word of god come alive this word in greek is used twice logos and rhema logos is the written book it's what everybody reads the bible says in the beginning there was a word that word in Greek is logos logos is what you can find here you can read it and a lot of people study it and they have no faith because faith does not come from logos faith comes when Holy Spirit makes this word 
and makes it come alive to us it becomes rhema the word has to become alive by the holy spirit if it doesn't become alive you read that word and you repeat it and you repeat it and you repeat it and honestly and the moment you stop repeating it it left for it to be go inside it must become alive and made alive by the holy spirit and only holy spirit makes it alive no, no wonder people can read the Bible says I read the Bible why don't have faith you read the Bible with the notebook but you're not reading the Bible with the Holy Spirit you're reading the Bible with the best new language and the best translation but in order to have faith you don't need to read the Bible chronologically you need to read the Bible with the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit needs to make this word become alive when it jumps and becomes alive something happens faith sparks right away power of God fuels the faith in God and it's 1st Corinthians chapter 2 verse 5 and it's when Apostle Paul says I want your faith not to be built in human wisdom but to be built in the power of God without the Word of God our faith is dead without the works of God our faith is dormant it's asleep 